Hey everyone, welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. This episode going to be studying a piece by the AI Genitive Artist Studies Encyclopedia Erratica. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at the symbolism of the angel. And we're also going to explore the influences of analog horror. So let's jump right into it. So whenever you first see this work, we're met face to face with this harrowing lone figure here set in center. Our first impression is likely going to be anxiety or shock due to the strange sight before us here. And so of course, you notice how a placement in center certainly makes our subject hard to miss, right? We also have the composition is kind of tilted as well, gives us a sense of motion within the composition in turn. And so you'll also notice, of course, multiple variants of accent define the form of our subject as well. So like I said, you're just not going to miss it here. If we look at colors within this work, we really see this pinkish purple and this blue upon this incredibly dark background here. And of course, that dark background is the perfect backing to allow that to really pop out and define itself. So an analogous scheme upon a black background is incredibly important when we're looking at this work. And so another thing you may notice is the impact of texture within this composition. We see this quite clearly, right? It is rather rough within this composition and really the glitch art aesthetic always makes its voice heard in times you'd least expect it, right? And so we also see, you know, the, the presence of torn pixels almost always point to the glitch art aesthetic in some way or another. We see this quite clearly, right? It also gives us a sense of vivid motion within the composition as well. We already talked about how the composition is kind of tilted, but of course all these torn pixels give us even more energy alongside that tilt and even alongside that vibrance as well. So all very important when we're looking at this work. So we see what appears to be an angel within this composition, really the main subject of this work here. And we see this, you know, we, we really imply this by the presence of wings within this composition. So when a subject has wings, it's always going to point to the divine in some way or another. And we kind of ask ourselves why that is, right? Well, anything that has wings can fly. And if you can fly, you're going to be closer to the realm of the divine. So when we see any type of subject or any type of symbol with wings, it's almost always going to feel sacred or divine in nature. So I think that's incredibly important when we're looking at this work. And so, of course, the aesthetic here is quite, you know, anxious and even dark as well. So we normally associate angels with beings of light, but in here it feels rather dark and chaotic, and so perhaps we're witnessing a moment where we are meeting a fallen angel, although it's hard to say for sure. And although fallen angels aren't explicitly mentioned in any Abrahamic text, you know, the fallen angels typically seen as any being who has been casted from heaven as a result of sin or otherwise. And they, they kind of work on temptation in many different ways. We see that quite clearly in so many different examples. But within the work at hand, it's a lot harder to kind of point to that directly. So we're kind of implying that perhaps this may be a fallen angel, though it's hard to say for sure. And so we see this, you know, the, the title of this work is A Blessing in Disguise disguise. So, you know, there's so many different things you could draw from that. For example, a blessing in disguise, if a fallen angel is meeting us, perhaps it's awakening us to a certain demon or otherwise where we can stray away from that. So even though we do say a dark aesthetic, perhaps it may be in turn a blessing at the end of the day as well. And with this in mind, you know, why do you think a fallen angel might be visiting us? And also, you know, what do you see when you view this piece or how do you feel when you view this piece? A pretty interesting question you may ask when we're looking at this work. And so I was talking to the original artist, you know, Encyclopedia Erratica, and they were talking about this influence of analog horror. And I thought this was quite interesting. I see analog horror, you know, although I didn't explicitly recognize it at first, it has so many different influences from dream core, trauma core, and the glitch art aesthetic as well. And we see this quite clearly within this composition. We talked about those kind of torn pixel aesthetic, right? We see the influences of glitch art quite clearly. So of course it, it shocks and it awakens and it is a very dark and anxious scene as well, but it's incredibly stunning as well. So I think that's incredibly important when we're looking at this work. And so this is an AI generative artwork, so it was created with an AI generative art program. That program is going to be a unique mix of kind of a collaboration between Midjourney and Spellbrush called Niji Journey. And so we see that within this composition, a really unique effect that's created by this. There's actually another piece that we're going to be showcasing here in the near future, and it is actually used with that same collaboration as well. So it's absolutely stunning. We see just how far you could take some of the AI generative art programs to show some of the most sacred symbols and even create symbols of analog horror as well. And yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this work today. I believe this was Encyclopedia Radica's first showcase ever. 
So it's an absolute blessing to be able to study this artist. And of course, I absolutely love their portfolio as well. Really hope you all enjoyed today. We talked about so many different things from analog horror to the glitch art aesthetic to the impact of color, texture, even placement in this tilt within this composition as well. Really hope you all enjoyed today. If you all did, go check out the original artist, Encyclopedia Radica. Always doing some amazing stuff in the world of AI generative artwork. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see you all on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.